In this lesson, we're going to be looking at setting up XAMPP. So XAMPP is by far one of the most popular and easy to use installs of an Apache distribution. It also includes PHP, Perl, and a Maria database. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. And the best of all, it is free and it's easy to install. It's available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So let's take a look at what XAMPP is and what it consists of. So going over to their main website is located at apachefriends.org. And you'll find that over here you've got some information in regards to XAMPP. You can also download the different versions for your computer. So we've got XAMPP for Windows, XAMPP for Linux, and XAMPP for OS X. And we also now have a new PHP 7 version. So if you're looking to run PHP 7, try it out, practice it. This is a great way to install it on your computer and try out the code for yourself. So and this is the best thing about Apache and XAMPP is that it's got a really good community. So there's a lot of support. It's constantly updated and there's a bunch of add-ons as well to really help you make installs easier. So you can select from any one of these add-ons, install it on your XAMPP installation and have be up and running with any number of these applications. And currently I am running XAMPP on my computer right now. So if you want, go over to apachefriends.org, select your version to download for your computer, go ahead and do the download, and then we'll just walk you through the install of the application. First of all, to install XAMPP, it's really straightforward. Right out of the box, you just hit Next, select the components, select the directory that you want to place it in, and this, by the way, is going to be on a Windows machine. Then you hit Next, and you're ready to install it. Now, you do have an option here to select a different folder. So by default, it's just going to go to C and create a folder called XAMPP. If you want to go to another folder or a customized folder, you can do that as well. And within this lesson or in the upcoming lessons, I am going to show you how you can redirect the root folder of XAMPP so you don't necessarily need to create all of your web page code within the XAMPP directory, which is the default to host the XAMPP default root folder. So you can go ahead and make that selection. So currently I already have XAMPP installed. That's why it's telling me that I can't install a second version on top of it. But in order to do the installation, make sure that you have a blank directory. And usually all the defaults on the installation, if you're looking to install a MySQL, a FileZilla, FTP server. So what this does is this gives you the ability to run an FTP server so you can actually FTP files from one part of your computer to another part of the computer. There's also different programming languages available. So by default, it's always going to be PHP, but you can also install Perl. And then you do have some programming uh, additions as well so you can do a PHP MyAdmin which gives you access to the database uh, which is a really cool add-on because a lot of web hosts they have that PHP MyAdmin so it's good to become familiar with that in working with your database. So they also have Webalyzer and Send Fake Mail or Fake Send Mail so this gives you the ability to add in some additional features that you would normally get on your hosting account. So once you're ready click through all of the next and go ahead and finish installing your setup of XAMPP on your computer. And once you're set up and running, then you can open up the control panel, which is going to look like this. And it's going to be the same thing for both Macs, Windows. Uh, so either way, you're going to be looking at a control panel just like this. So in the next lesson, I'm going to be walking you through some of the really cool things you can do within the XAMPP control panel to give yourself even more control over your web development environment. So that's coming up in the next lesson.